welcome to YouTube Pooping with Toaster Sky and Toaster. Hey everybody, this is TGT8 here, and welcome to part 2 of the YTP breakdown slash tutorial of the Wrath of Psycho Grandpa. I think I like the name YTP Breaktorial, so I think I'm gonna stick with that, but anyways, this part is gonna go over some of the more advanced edits of the Wrath of Psycho Grandpa. Now, there are quite a bit of advanced edits in this video, but I'm not gonna go over every advanced one because there are some that I use separate tutorials for those, so I think that instead of me describing what you did with that, I think I will just link you to those tutorials for some of the edits, but anyways. I'm gonna try not to keep you for too long, let's just jump into this. Now this set really isn't all that advanced, but I just thought I'd go over this real quick. As you notice down here, I repeated several video clips over and over and over again. In order to get all of them to progressively zoom into Jesse's face, I had to merge all of them into a nesting layer. If you don't know what nesting is, then refer to part 1 of my breakdown of this YTP. Anyways, from just one layer, I was able to edit them all to progressively zoom in onto Jesse's face. Now probably quite a bit of you are going to be wondering how I did this effect, so instead of going over this in minute detail, because if I did, this would be a long ass video, instead I'm going to link you to a separate tutorial for that. But I will just say that I used After Effects in order to create it, so if you want to learn how to make that effect in After Effects, then go check out the separate tutorial. I will make an annotation on screen for that, or I will link it down in the description, or I'll do both. Okay, these several edits are going to be a bit to take in, but I will say that most of these video parts have been sped up greatly. I didn't want to just keep the video clips at normal speed because I didn't feel that it would have that rage feel or just the feel of a real YTP. Now along with speeding up the video tracks, before I did that I separated the audio tracks from it because I didn't want the audio to be sped up along with the video clip because it would sound kind of like shit. So I just separated the audio track from the video track before I sped up the video tracks. And from there I just mixed and matched the audio with the new sped up video layers. Now to make Jesse's eyes look like they were blinking, it wasn't really all that difficult at all. First I took a still of the toy smashing video from Angry Grandpa's channel. Then I animated it to make it look like it was from the point of view of a person who was kind of moving their head. Then I just used keyframes to animate them to make it look like they were blinking. To give the effect a bit more of an authentic feel, I applied Gaussian Blur to the video track below it, and then I animated it in sync with the eyelid blinking. To make set Mr. Ridgeway's head move in sync with Angry Grandpa, it was kind of a tedious process. But again, it's basically just animating scale and position. Remember, if you're using Premiere, if you want to animate keyframes, always remember to click that stopwatch before you do. This effect right here was made to look like the PS4 was being smashed through the entire floor. I mainly have Action Essentials 2 to thank for being able to do this. If you don't know, Action Essentials 2 is basically stock effects that you can buy off of Video Copilot's website, and this pack offers a lot of great stock effects that you can use for your own videos. However, if you're just going to be making regular YTP videos, then I don't recommend buying Action Essentials 2, because if you're just going to be a YTPer, then just search up some free green screen effects on YouTube. There's plenty of them on this website. Just be sure to give proper credit to those people whose effects you use, because most people will ask you to credit them in some way, so just make sure you do that. Now, I said I wouldn't go over the black hole tutorial, but just for AGP and Jesse flying into the black hole, it's just a scaling effect. I zoomed Angry Grandpa out to make it look like he was flying into the black hole, and then as far as the black hole layer behind it, I zoomed that in so it looked like Jesse was flying into it. For AGP standing right here, again, just animating position. Same with right here. With the black bar zooming in on Mr. Ridgeway and in Grandpa's face, again it's just animating position. Oh shit, we finally come to this part. Okay, where am I even going to start with this? 
Okay, I might as well start off in the beginning. Here where <laughs> Mr. Ridgeway winds up the chainsaw, it's from the Xbox One Destruction video. So, basically what I did here was I just took out the background in the video and I overlaid it on top of a still in the Psycho Dad Reacts to 1 Million Juggies video. And then for these two scenes right here, they're basically just cutouts of each other's faces. And again, it's just adjusting position. To animate set <laughs> Mr. Ridgeway, I used Photoshop. It was hell to animate that because it would screw up a ton of times and it took a lot of editing to make it animate just correctly. I actually planned for the fight scene to drag out longer and have it be a full zoomed out shot of them just running towards each other and just meeting like right in the middle. But I decided against that because when I animated set Mr. Ridgeway, the movement on his upper body area looked a bit awkward, so I just did what I did with this video and just settled with that. When Mr. Ridgeway and AGP clash in the middle, I just used Action Essentials 2 again to make sparks fly all over the place. Then to make AGP and Mr. Ridgeway fly away from each other, I just animated position again. I animated AGP here in Photoshop using several separated layers. That way the motion would look more natural instead of just a still image of AGP just going towards the camera. So from there I would just place the keyframes in one position for the beginning and then I would go to an end frame that I desired. And then from there, I would just animate these into different positions. Then I export the final product from Photoshop as a video, and then I import it into Premiere, and then adjust the scale and position as needed. Again, a lot of the stuff here has to do with just adjusting position and animating it. However, I did adjust the speed of which the hammer was twirling right beside Mr. Ridgeway to make it look like time was slowing down as it would just go by him. For the Uncle Larry part, I just animated the hammer to make it look like it was going into the RV, and for Uncle Larry, I just edited some of his facial expressions, and then I just overlaid Uncle Larry on top of the video layer where the RV is. For this part with Mr. Ridgeway headbutting AGP, again, it has to do with animating position, but I kind of put a bit of a spin on it. I used one of Action Essentials 2 spark effects to make the headbutt look more painful. For AGP falling onto the ground, again, I animated position. Plus, I also put some dust effects on top of AGP when he hit the ground, too. For AGP screaming right here, I think you know what I used here. I made the background a bit darker here to make it look like AGP kind of destroyed the surroundings. And again right here I used position to make Angry Grandpa rise up, but I also applied the twirl effect to make it look like Angry Grandpa kind of screwed up his face when he screamed that loud. And to make Mr. Ridgeway drop out from the sky, I animated him using, you guessed it, position. And I think the last part to go over is where Mr. Ridgeway appears on the TV saying, I won. I actually used corner pin to make it look like he was actually appearing inside the TV instead of just regularly positioning him in front of the TV because I really didn't feel that that looked very good in my opinion so I found out about corner pin and I used that and it actually makes it look like he's actually in the TV. And with that I think we're finally done. I can almost guarantee that some of you are probably thinking, what the hell? But hopefully this video wasn't too vague. I know it's quite a lot to take in, but once you start making YTPs, you'll start to understand just what I'm talking about. But I hope you all are liking this series. If you are, then leave it down in the comment section below, and if I get enough requests, then I will probably do this with some of my other YTPs, including the Markiplier one, and the Anger Grandpa Gets Haunted by Creepypasta YTP. But anyways, before I go, I am already working on another YTP, and it's the second part of The Wrath of Psycho Grandpa. A lot of you all have been saying that you want a sequel to that, and I'm working on it. I hope to get that out as soon. But anyways, that's pretty much it for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this Wrath of Psycho Grandpa YTP breakdown, and I guess I will see you all in the next video.